So I have a question. Are you taking testosterone? Would you like to know the deeper reason why you need it in the first place? So I will ask someone, why are you taking testosterone? They'll say, because it's low. Okay. And then you ask them, why is it low? And they'll say, well, because I'm getting older. So if that's true, then why do some men not need it because they have normal testosterone and some have a problem with it? Well, let's go a deeper. Now, what you should know is that the adrenals and the testicles make testosterone. The adrenals make a small amount, the testicles make the majority. The purpose of testosterone is to develop the testes, prostate, to develop muscle mass and bone uh, strength, body hair, facial hair, protein synthesis to make protein in the body, not just the muscles, sperm development, deeper voice, libido, male characteristics, erections, okay? So testosterone follows the pathways of human growth hormones. So they, they're very similar in how they work. Uh, the problem is, anytime you take a hormone, it inactivates the gland that makes it. That's why some of the side effects are atrophy of the testicles, thicker blood, high blood pressure, acne, male pattern baldness, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. So what you need to know is the single most common reason why people have low T is high levels of insulin, okay? It's high insulin will suppress testosterone and also suppresses human growth hormone as well. That's why men who are diabetics have low testosterone. That's why men that have prediabetes called insulin resistance have low testosterone. How do you know if you have high insulin? Here are the symptoms. You have a gut, okay? If you have belly fat, it's coming from insulin, so you know it's too high. Your blood pressure is high. You have high cholesterol. You have high sugar. You're pre-diabetic or a diabetic. You're on prime medication. You're tired after meals. Vision issues. You need glasses. Loss of muscle tone despite working out. Urinating at night, and there's a whole bunch of other ones, okay? If you possibly have high insulin and want a solution, there's a couple things I'm going to recommend. Actually, two things. One is the ketogenic diet. Do it very healthily and intermittent fasting. I put a little course down below to get more knowledge on how to do it, okay? Check it out. Hey, before you go, definitely sign up for my free keto course. I put a link down below. It's on Messenger and Facebook, but it will give you all the basics. It's very quick. It's like three or four videos and it's free. Check it out.